what is up guys, and of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your true, of course, the Scarender. And today we're going up against Semi in actually an Inu match, and this is a team that I designed a while back, and I actually wanted to utilize Executor in Inu, and with Charizard with Solar Power, I thought that I might as well do a Sun team with that in mind, and well, therefore we have the live part, Miss Majus is filler, and uh, my uh, Hitmonchan is basically some kind of spinner and the right instead to fill the blanks basically it's a good defined wall when it comes to utilization of the course come on in NU of course and of course with Sock gone they are actually more prominent than ever now my opponent here will use Regirock, Sudowoodo, Kling Klang, Electivire, um, Magmordor and of course um, ooh, Krussel I do believe it's called and from the get-go here any one of his three rock types could be his possible lead so with that in mind I decided that my safest lead is pretty much Rhydon because he, Rhydon doesn't necessarily is scared of any of these mods outside of possibly the Magmortar which of course can force it out but outside of that I felt rather safe and basically all I need to do is get the sun up and hope that my sun sweepers work because well they can pack a punch behind them but we need to wheel down a team and of course Clang Clang is walling my um, Executor, which is something that is very necessary to get out of the way if I even want to have a chance, of course, possibly sweep this team. So, with all this, my guys, let's get into the game. And also, I should say this, I've been trying to actually speed up the battles a little bit, so if you think I'm, the narration is too fast, and you know, say that down below in worst case, I'm trying my best here. So anyway, I'll lead off with Foreign, and since I've also feared that it's possible that it could Shell Smash on me, I'm gonna go for Dragon Tail here because it's the safer uh, overall option and un unfortunately for me of course it goes for Stealth Rocks. Now here's the Sudowoodo and I was fearing it could possibly have Wood Hammer. I should be able to take one and then take it out myself. Uh, there is a Wood Hammer. And that sucks. Well I do take it, like I said, I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage here and my Earthquake is actually not enough to take him out, which is unfortunate. And the Sudowoodo will take out my Rhydon. Now, I will say this. Woodhammer Sudowoodo. Pretty darn cool. Uh, so anyway, I go to my Nebula. Because I think that's my safest call. Even though it could possibly require Sucker Punch. Which it does. I have the Cold Water Berry to make sure I can take it. But it still does a lot. It still does a freaking lot. And maybe I should have actually uh, encouraged myself to bring something else. Such as Life Pod. But you know, anyway, I did what I did. And therefore, there we can have it. So anyway, here's Morty, and he. I was fearing that this could be a Scarf set, but at this point I had no real reason of switching out, because I could pack a whole lot of punches behind me, and luckily for me, I do outspeed, which means that obviously he's not Scarfed, which also means that I can bring Adamon safely here without really need to worry about his speed, so I'm bringing in Hitmonchan, thinking that I'm faster. I really thought I was faster. I am not. I am adamant and that's gonna pay me dearly actually because I am just a little bit slowly. Uh, and that really sucks. That really 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 sucks because I went for rapid spin trying to get after rocks. And uh, that's not gonna work. Now here comes the Thunder Cat. So I was thinking alright, maybe I can take a hit from this guy. But um, eh, I cannot. I cannot. Uh, <laughs> I mean I go for Drain Punch but you, know, it's basically from here on out that's, that does way too much so I'm gonna go to live part here thinking that okay live part should probably take this hit so I go for a sunny day then bring in executor and try to hurt stuff as it goes to thunder punch and it's so close of killing me luckily like I said there I do get the sunny day up which means I can bring the executor but as I mentioned before the issue in this situation is that it still has clink clang and a good amount of health uh, and that's gonna be a, a big deal actually, it's gonna bring Brigant, of course, my Specs Executor, and we are just gonna spam Solar Beam, there is pretty much nothing on this team that can take it outside of, like I said, the Clink Clank, which I really, really, really hope that I, we can dent somehow uh, without risking anything, so Solar Beam is of course gonna kill this one, no doubt about that, and uh, he's actually gonna bring Electivar back here, and I don't outspeed it because he is Scarfed. Seeing with my double speed, I am not able to outspeed this mon. Should probably go max speed there, buddy. Should probably go max speed. Anyway, uh, go for Solar Beam. Of course, it's going to kill Electivire. And uh, yeah, Executor is looking mighty fine at this moment. It is a real fun set to use. I can't deny that. 
So here comes Cruz, and I was thinking, all right, we're just gonna go for the head. So there is really nothing else I can do, and you guys will see something marvelous. While this is resisted damage, indeed, it still does a lot. Unfortunately, though, he does go for the Thunder Wave. Had it gone for a move uh, like Gear Ground or anything like that, it would have been just as bad. Because, uh, well, we can't outspeed it. So he's going for Gear Grind, and that's going to wrap things up with, of course, my poor Executor. But Brigant, Brigant, you did well. So well that Charizard can only come in here now and actually wrap the game up. Because due to him not going for gear grind means that we are faster, of course. And that also means that his last spawn being, of course, Clink Lang and the Regirock that is followed does not have a chance against my Life Orb, Solar Power, Charizard. But I'm gonna say this <laughs> straight on at it. This is not the preferably set go expert bell, people. This is just a train ride of punishment. But anyway, I do pack the solar power, of course, on my beautiful, beautiful Milan to Charizard. And Regirock, while staying sturdy and whatnot, will not be able to take this hit. It is simply too much for the Regirock. And that is a GG. So, thank you so much, Milan to Hot. It was a really fun game. And um, uh, honestly, this team has been kind of having its ups, ups and downs. But when it works, it works really well because. There are very few things that can take hits from this team once the sun is up. The trick is to make it stay up and of course have the defensive capabilities for the monster wallet. So yeah, due to work guys, I'm just gonna say it as it is. This week will be less videos uploaded, so therefore I had to make this a bit more faster. Um, but yeah, I wanna thank you of course as always for watching and uh, I really hope I can work this out anyway. Uh, I'm gonna make a little bit of an update video on tomorrow about, of course, the March Madness, which we played off on Saturday, which will be a live stream for a lot of players. So make sure to check that one out. Like I said, I'll do a small update about that. Uh, just really want to have you supporting me, of course, and the Scandinavian Southlands in the All Star League, basically. But but yeah, you know, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, as always. Even if you don't like it, like it. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't subscribe. And remember, the sky's limit. Until next time, take care. Bye. <laughs>